Hi, my name is Guy Wallace, and in this pack video short, we're going to discuss the five-tier inventory structure of the enterprise content architecture, a key element of the PAC processes data logic. PAC is an acronym. It stands for performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven, training and development of any blend. The five-tier inventory structure is to store content modules that come out of the CAD efforts, the curriculum architecture design efforts. This is to facilitate reuse of content modules. However, when MCD projects actually produce content, modular content, those modules are again at two levels. Modules become lessons and lessons contain instructional activities. But we're getting ahead of ourselves at this point. We're focused on curriculum architecture design. To facilitate reuse in the PAC processes, we use one element of the enterprise content architecture, which is the five-tier inventory. This allows us to reuse modules at a curriculum architecture design level. Perhaps there are multiple jobs being addressed with curriculum architectures that are going to be part of the same department, which would also be part of the same function which could be in the same division and business unit and enterprise. That makes those modules of content highly shareable across many different audiences. There are other performance how-tos that could be shared as well. Logging on to various computer systems, completing expense reports after travel, etc. In Tier 1, are those organizational orientations. Tier 2 takes a deeper dive into the specifics of the target audience's job. If the job were instructional developers, their areas of performance and performance orientations might follow an ADDIE type of model, where the A in ADDIE for analysis is completely demystified where the content of the Tier 2 modules on the analysis area of performance might present the outputs, the key measures for those outputs, the tasks related to each output, the various roles and responsibilities in the creation and production and finalization of that output. It may also present the typical gaps that one might expect and their causes. This provides a heads up to the learners who will become performers and have to deal with the real world. All of this data comes right off of the analysis efforts. The Tier 3 Enabling Knowledge and Skills data comes from the analysis data that looked at the Enabling Knowledge and Skills for the performance. Perhaps active listening is in that content perhaps dealing with the expense reporting policies and the travel policies and various laws, regulations, and codes. Tier 4 and 5 provide shared and unique performance how-to's. How to do analysis would be addressed at that level and if instructional analysis is unique to one job then that would be covered in a Tier 5 set of content. What gets demystified in Tier 2 gets taught in Tier 5. In between those two elements of content could be all sorts of enabling knowledge and skills. How to do surveys, how to use various survey tools, how to facilitate meetings, how to book a conference room, etc., etc. I've been practicing, publishing, and presenting on these methods since 1982. My recent book, Six Pack, covers all of this in great detail.